Geographically, the location of the Solomon Islands is very important for Australia. Asian countries have the largest trade with major ports on Australia's east coast. In order to carry out this trade, merchant ships had to pass through the islands of the sea off the east coast of Papua New Guinea for about 2,000 kilometers to the east. Most shipping between the islands of New Guinea and New Britain, and between New Ireland and Bougainville Island. The islands of the Solomon Islands are adjacent to these two trade routes. Japan tried to take control of the islands during World War II. The United States stood in the way of this effort. Guadalcanal Island in the Solomon Islands became famous during this conflict. Both sides did not agree to relinquish control of the Solomon Islands, despite heavy casualties. This is because the security of Australia depended on the control of these islands. That fact has not changed, almost 60 years later. That is why Australia is always concerned about the security of the island nations. The Australian shipbuilder Astle said in October that the Australian government had donated the 13th Guardian-class petrol boat to Papua New Guinea. In 2016, the Australian government ordered 21 patrol boats at a cost of $238 million. These boats are being built for 12 Pacific countries, which will replace petrol boats previously donated by the Australian government. In addition to Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, these 12 countries include Fiji, the Federated States of Micronesia, Tonga, the Cook Islands, Kiribati, the Marshall Islands, Palau, Samoa, Tuvalu, Vanuatu, and Timor-Leste in the middle of the Indonesian archipelago. These tiny countries each have one vote in the UN. But their own security is not in their hands. The diplomatic activities of these countries have always been greatly influenced by Australia. These countries are a great example of the establishment of diplomatic relations with Taiwan. In recent years, however, China's aggressive economic role has shaken Australia's control over the island nation. Chinese economic influence in Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands, which control Australia's maritime trade, has shaken Australia. At the same time, while the Chinese are competing with Taiwan for the lead in the diplomatic conflict, these Asian rivals of relatively large capital are exerting great influence over the tiny Pacific countries. Politicians are eager to get millions of dollars in aid from China and Taiwan, which simultaneously provoked the conflict of regional nationalism between Guadalcanal and Malrita. Assistance to strengthen Australia's democratic structure has faded in the face of this costly infrastructure investment. From 2003 to 2016, Australian troops were deployed in the Solomon Islands to capitalize on the country's conflict with regional nationalism. The renewed conflict has once again given the opportunity to deploy Australian troops there. Although the United States is competing with China for the great power in the Pacific, Australia and New Zealand, which are part of the global Britain thinking, want to maintain a dominant position in the region. The houses burned down in the Solomon Islands in the violence are just an excuse for global Britain to hold sway. Posted by Ahmed Sharif at 8.21 email this blog this. Share to Twitter, share to Facebook, share to Pinterest.